offshore at any port in the world and you can see the superhighway of international commerce. Container ships moving practically everything imaginable, transporting 90% of the world's cargo in giant vessels like these, some the size of a stadium. Inside the sea of lookalike containers can be anything from tires to t-shirts, luxury cars to medicines. Also hidden though could be something sinister, illegal, maybe even deadly. Clandestine cocaine or heroin, fake medicines that could kill, even precursors of weapons of mass destruction. This is a huge market. We are talking of over one trillion of US dollars made annually by crime at large. Pierre Lapac is regional director of the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime. We live in a globalized world where everything keeps moving from one place to the other, going through, through hundreds of places. And criminals have quickly identified that it's a beautiful market. Some 500 million containers move across the globe each year. Less than 2% of these are ever screened. Every day, criminal trafficking networks outsmart the system. Here, a precursor to methamphetamine veiled inside boxes of chili pepper, street value $70 million. Heroin hidden inside spices and in matchboxes from Pakistan. Thousands of pounds of cannabis concealed in rolls of fabric. Cocaine stashed in frozen tuna. Canned fruit, even in pineapples. And this modern-day menace, centrifuges, seized on a ship in 2004, en route from Malaysia to Libya, capable of enriching uranium. We cannot afford to make a mistake. Every mistake that you were going to make when you deal with weapons of mass destruction, you will have, at the end of the day, thousands, hundreds of thousands who might be dying. So failure is not an option. Mistake is not an option. This is a story about an intricate global crime web, the story of the international trafficking of clandestine goods and the bold and brave new battle to combat it. Teaming up on the front line of that fight is the World Customs Organization and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC. They launch an offensive, setting up operations in 30 ports in 17 countries across the globe, from Panama to Pakistan, Togo to Turkmenistan, Guatemala to Ghana. Using a combination of the latest high-tech equipment, human intelligence, and good old-fashioned hands-on techniques, the container control programs, as they're known, are a powerful new weapon against these global threats, and they are making a difference. <laughs>